Hi there, it's me. Um, project, ooh, beautiful, dirty hands. Whew. Anyway, I'll show you a little bit about the uh, new project I'm working on. Uh, right, it's just almost finished, or finished. It's never really finished, but uh, it's close enough to be finished. At any rate, this is the electric bike with the sidecar. Okay. Uh, the heart of this bike is uh, really here. This is a brush 24 volt motor um, from a uh, Lightning Cruiser electric bike, and that was the only thing that is salvaged from that bike. This uh, this little motor here. Uh, it's 24 volt brush motor. Uh, I built a battery pack for it inside this wood box. You know, as you know me, it's you know that I like making things out of wood. So that's the wood box. Inside of it contains batteries of various sorts. Ooh, uh, okay. And here's a switch to power on and off. Okay. Uh, on the other side is the jack to charge your battery pack and the reset button for the fuse. This is a 20 uh, amp fuse to protect the battery from over discharging. There's also a 30 volt, uh, 30 amp fuse inside to protect the controller unit from burning out. So uh, that's extra protection for the battery pack as well as the electronics. Uh, the bike uh, drive train is still operational. I put made a little quickie uh, uh, chain guard there out of wood. <laughs> Again, uh, the I guess the uh, semi unique thing about this bike is the sidecar, as you can see here. This is the uh, the unit uh, sidecar. It's made out of uh, the, uh, the um, seat stay of a, a triangle, uh, of a bicycle, duh, a seat stay of a bicycle, and two racks, two identical back racks that I bolt them on like that. Uh, the two sides are held together by three pieces of wood bolted onto the racks with these bolts and piano hinges on the side and a bottom beam right here. Okay, uh, also out of wood. And you, of course, have a little box of plastic to uh, store things in. The nice thing about this is that it will lean with the bike. So if the bike leans and on a turn, you can see that the, uh, the hinge will allow it to turn without uh, affecting the steering of, uh, of, of the, the bicycle. Um, yeah, and of course, if you need to go to separate them, there's only three bolts. This little guy, this little guy, and, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little bolt here that's holding the two beams together. So take those out, three, those three nuts and bolts, and you have a regular bicycle to ride. It takes about five minutes, I guess, uh, but with hand tools. Um, okay, so I don't have anybody to film me while I ride, so I'm just going to spin the rear wheel for you. First of all, turn on the power, and this is the throttle. And, of course, if you turn the throttle, okay. It's a 48 volt operation now. I, uh, it's a brush motor, so it's very easy to change the voltage on as long as you don't blow up the motor. So I put in uh, 40 cells uh, of uh, nickel metal hydrides in there, D-sized. So um, pretty decent range. I'm thinking I'm getting at least 30 miles range with this. Um, top speed, at least 20 miles an hour. That's the legal limit. So um, I think I can exceed it if I have to, but uh, you know, it's plenty fast at least for me anyway. Uh, I don't heal nearly as fast as I used to. <laughs> so at any rate, there's the bike. Uh, Old-fashioned uh, English Roadster handlebar that's been turned upside down. I kind of like the way it looks. Um, and made out of wood and metal and some plastic bits. And there you have it. One last shot on this side. Okie dokie. Bye now.